this video is about uh, how to install and uh, use our chain link face machine. Our chain link face machine mainly has uh, five parts. The cutting machine, the weaving machine, the lock, lock machine, and the mesh rolling machine, and the electric control panel. When you receive our machine, firstly, you need to correctly place the machine parts. Please refer to our machine layout. This is a cutting machine, and the weaving machine should be in the same line. This part is the lock machine, and uh, this place on the lock machine should be in the same straight line with the cutter. These are the tensioning roller. The function is uh, push the mesh forward. The gear on the tension bearing is uh, in the middle of the mesh pole. This tensioning bearing, this part, and uh, this uh, position leg in the same line. About the mesh rolling machine, it also should be in the same line with the cutter. Let's measure the distance between the weaving machine and the lock machine. The distance is about 1.2 meter to 1.5 meter. The distance between the lock machine and the mesh rolling machine is about 10 uh, cm to 20 cm. Next is the cable connection. We should follow the labels on the plug A, B, C. Uh, con connect the machine parts to the control box. Inside of the electric control uh, box, there are two slow valves. They control two uh, slow motors. These two cables should be connected with the uh, slow drive. Cable one connected with the drive one. Cable two connected with the drill tube. Oh, 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 oh,
that is this tank is the mixture of uh, metal cutting liquid and water. Uh, let, let us see. The function is uh, lubrication. Uh, can decrease the scratch on the wear surface and uh, extend the mold service life. Let us study the touch screen. It uh, has two languages, English and uh, Chinese. And you can set the match width. And the um, match length. On the touch screen, and this speed, you can also change the speed. This speed is the motor rotating speed. You can increase the speed or decrease the speed. That also shows the the production capacity. How to produce and adjust a good fence wire? Look at here, the two blades and the two wires should be flat. Look, these two wires shape as a relative, the curve. According to the principle of mirror image, and this part is the cutter. The good cutting position is uh, at the middle of the wire side length. This place. This wheel is uh, used to adjust the wire cutting position, and it can move, uh, push, push out, and uh, push in. When we push it out, uh, it uh, controls uh, the outside wire move forward or back. When we push in the wheel and uh, turn, turn it, it controls the inside wire move forward and back. Look at this wire. Uh, it is in a good condition. Uh, this wire is very flat. Uh, but this wire, you see, it is uh, not in a good condition because uh, before uh, machine cutting, and uh, this wire should be uh, vertical. You can see now it is uh, uh, forward. Now the blade is uh, vertical, but the wire is uh, forward. And uh, this the, this wheel is uh, used to move forward or move back the blade. 
and uh, just we can adjust the wire angle. This wheel has the same function with the middle wheel. It controls the outside blade moving forward or back. If the two wires not uh, similar length, this wire is short. You need to adjust the here forward. When the cutter cuts the wires, this plate will uh, press the wire and the wire head will upward. It is easy for the viewing. There are some position lag on the lock machine. Uh, the position of the each position lag should be in the middle of the mesh hole. 